Welcome back guys to another one. As we all know when it comes to low profile air cooling, especially in small form factor cases, it's very hard to beat the Noctua L9A for example. So today let's have a look if this one from Silverstone, also in RGB, can do just that. Every time I hear the term low profile air cooling, the first example that comes to my mind at least is the Noctua L9 series. Well, Silverstone is tackling this exact corner of the market with their new Hydrogon H90 which can be had for around 60 bucks. This is really good value for money considering that you get ARGB and support for both Intel and AMD sockets at the same time, a scenario that the L9 can't satisfy because you have to buy separately an Intel or AMD specific L9. So the H90 comes as expected in a small box with excellent branding from Silverstone. Then I'm happy to report that the H90 is socket ready with Intel's latest LGA1700 and AMD's AM4 and consequently the upcoming AM5. Regarding accessories, I really like what they did here with the spacers, how neatly they are organized in this tab. Then the Intel backplates have the double sided tapes already pre-installed. Everything else is pretty much what you expect from a low-profile cooling. It's easy to tell that a Silverstone H90 Hydrogon is a compact air cooler, which including the slim 92mm fan, stands just 48mm tall. The same fan is rated up to 2600 RPM, which is higher than the Noctua's by just 100 RPM, and then thanks to its 11 blades and hydraulic bearings will push up to 46 CFM of airflow with a static pressure of 2.3 mm water column while not going over 35 decibels. It takes power via a 4-pin unsleeved PWM port and since it possesses 11 LEDs for the RGB, it will require a free 5V ARGB port on your motherboard. Also comes with a daisy-chained extra 5V plug so you you can connect other devices if you have only one free port on your motherboard. Then the fan's frame features anti-vibration pads and it's held into place via the heatsink via these two metal clips. Now circling back to the heatsink, which measures just 33mm tall, is built using four copper heat pipes with aluminium fins. The securing screws can be accessed even with the fan in place since the screwdriver can be used in between the blades. Regarding the contact plate, this is also nickel plated without a mirror finish. Then the overall construction is good, just the outer fins are a bit too thin to my liking and thus can be bent way too easily just by lifting the heatsink with your fingers. But other than that, things look really good overall. Installation is quite simple because on the AMD socket for example you can reuse the stock motherboard's backplate, which is a standard practice anyway. So slide in the AM4 plastic spacers, then attach the metal brackets which can go in one way and secure them down with the appropriate bolts. Apply the thermal paste and then bolt down the heatsink. Connect the fan's power and the ARGB plug and then that's it. Checking the clearances, even with this tall VRM heatsink from my Asus Trix B550i motherboard, there is no issue whatsoever. Thus the Silverstone H90 ARGB will feel right at home in a compatible enclosure. The light show is pretty excellent since it's full RGB compatible with any lighting software from all of the main motherboard vendors. As for testing, I did all of these on a hot summer's day with an ambient of at least 25 degrees and without any extra case fans. Then knowing how hot the 5600X can get in stock form, I was expecting both coolers to fail, but to my surprise the H90 even managed to overtake the L9A by a whisker thanks to its more powerful fan and taller heatsink in both R23 and ADA64 stress tests. As for gaming a title like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which ticks around 50% of the total CPU usage of the 5600X, I can say we got some pretty decent results. Well, so far so good, but what about the noise output? Well, the H90 is silent up until 80% RPM, which is a really good result even by Noctua turns.
Well, not much to say really because Silverstone has created a worthy opponent to the gold standard that has been the L9 series from Noctua all of these years. Now you can possess ARGB while not sacrificing too much on the noise output and of course footprint. Under 50mm tall it is still tiny. Cooling wise it did the job even on a hot summer's day in a case with no additional airflow and beating the L9 by a few degrees while staying relative silent. This is basically what the Creo Rig C7 should have been all along. Just be careful while you handle the H90 seat sync since the outer fins are a bit too fragile. Well, thanks for watching again guys, please subscribe and see you in the next one. Alex out.